Hey everyone, welcome and today we're taking a look at Retro Carded Beachhead from G.I. Joe Classified. Oh boy, another chance for you to shit on Hasbro, hey? Look, we've been over this. If they do good work, and some of their work is good, I'll fully intend to give them a good look. However, I'm already seeing something that you know we're going to chastise them over and it's right beside your head. What, what are you talking? Oh no! Isn't that that same stupid gun that was included with Airborne and Firefly? Yeah, it is. Jesus! Hasbro, you're making it very difficult for me to defend you. Stop it! Right, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. So let's get this guy out and see what we got. Oh no. We interrupt this video for a quick reminder. Never go full classified. Alright, so here's Beachhead out of the box. Um, Let's talk about the accessories. I know that the old backpack had a crossbow molded into it but still mm, it's just not ringing true to beachhead to me yeah it's one of those details that kind of nobody cares about wait you're agreeing with me oh I guess I am what's wrong with me I don't know but I'm gonna continue Anyway, the other thing is, is that if you know the figure, you actually know the backpack's already upside down. You're wrong about that. If you say so, dude. Okay, so, once again, we have that same stupid gun that came with Firefly, which is, well, stupid. And that bothers me to no end. He's also got a pistol with the ugliest, ugliest suppressor I've ever seen yeah it's it's well let me just get off the accessories for a second and of course he has a stand because you know they need him but on the praises I'll give this figure I like the figure itself I like the deco actually for just the figure itself my one complaint would be the balaclava head Bala who is that like a country in the Middle East balaclava that's what it's called oh the thing around his head Really? Yeah. Well, I learn something new every day. Had that weird texture that the Cobra Island one had. I'm not a big fan of it. Yeah, uh, well, I like it. Just because you don't. Okay, that's for your prerogative. Anyway, the first thing is needed is he needs some better weapons. Oh, and let me guess where this is coming from. You betcha. Now, with some new weapons, I think this figure takes on a whole new dynamic. I mean, he looks ready to go and practical and looks awesome. I do dig the uh, grenades that come with him. I just put them on the straps on his uh, explosives pack. I, I really couldn't think of anywhere else to put them. It doesn't look like they belong anywhere else. I really have nothing to say here. I'll continue. I mean, and this is the thing with Classified that I don't get. I mean, the figures seem to be okay, for the most part. There you may be some issues here and there, but these gummy weapons are just terrible. I mean, the knife is just god-awful. It, it's just so bad. It's uh, Duros, and they got child safety stuff, and God. Okay, I forgot what they said this week it was about, but you know what I mean. Isn't that the joke you used last time? Well... I'm running out of defenses, okay? This is... This is a damn shame, because G.I. Joe's really awesome. And, like, you know... You, you, if you really get down to it, you cannot defend these stupid rubbery weapons. And, you know, I am going to say one thing, though. The Valorous weapons don't fit perfectly into the G.I. Joe hand. That's one I'll give you, but that's not anybody's fault. What do you mean? They're not designed to go together. Oh, yeah, well... You know, that would be a good point. But, you know... That's why I don't think they're a reasonable substitute. You just don't like them because they're relevers. Yeah, that's right. That's exactly what it is. Well, I mean, do you have a better option? Yeah, okay, now that I start thinking about it, the only options I can think of are probably a lot more expensive. Exactly, and therein lies the problem. The accessory should be good right off the bat. But, of course, Hasbro can't do that. So, we have to turn to other parts. Now, there are com plenty of companies making weapons for this scale of figure but 
some of them charge an arm and a leg and their quality isn't quite so great okay okay you, you got a point there so yeah there is some compatibility issues with some of the weapons of Valiverse because they're designed for different figures and that can come into play I'll tell you right now this gun I gave Beachhead yeah it doesn't quite fit into his hand perfectly but you know what it looks and feels a damn sight better than that abomination I guess I can see your point there I mean it's it's a tough one because I mean yeah, Hasbro should have just given him a different gun. And made it out of sturdier plastic. Better durometer, but yeah. Well, where'd you learn that from? From the guy who hurt my fifis. Okay then. But we do know what we're talking about. Well, someone. I mean, we're not professionals. No, no, no. But we are the customers. Yeah, that's a good point. We are the customers. And the customers should be feeling like they're putting down money for the value of their purchase. You're starting to sound like me. No, no, no. Okay, but there are some reasonable points there. Okay, yeah, you know, you made some reasonable points. Okay, I mean, I mean, I'm coming around. Um, I'm, I admit that. Be glad when you're out of classified, so I don't have to deal with this anymore. Okay, yeah, there's only a few more to go. I mean, and you know, well, we'll get into other stuff later. But my point is, what do I think of each? The figure itself, I like. I do like it overall. It's not terrible. It's not great. It's not bad. It should be better. I'm really confused as to why he has two knives. And the two knives have a different level of rigidity. Yeah, that is weird. I mean, it seems like it should be consistent all around. Yes, exactly. It's not even consistent in their own, their own figures. It blows me away. But, with the placement uh, weapons, yeah, Beachhead looks alright. He looks pretty good. He doesn't need to have the weapons he had when he first came out. He can have any old weapon. Any old weapon? Well, no, not any old weapon. But see, there's plenty of ways of improvement. Okay, I give you that one. And it's a shame we have to turn to other companies to improve. Because this is Hasbro. This is the biggest com toy company in the world, right? What's going on with you guys? You're turning customers away, including myself. I'm only getting my favorite characters at this point and those are kind of disappearing your my checklist is low that's a good point I mean what happens when your checklist is empty I just don't buy any more figures Wow that's gonna be weird what are we gonna complain about oh I'm sure we'll have plenty of other things to complain about together oh that's so sweet it makes me feel like there's a future with us And I don't know what to say to that other than thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, do all those things, and you take care.